I always uh, play two whole songs first before I get into anything. Just letting people get here talking for a bit. Got, gotta have some chill time, man. Can't be all energy all the time. God, Quentin. Fight me. Soft pass. Launch. No, we're gonna go. Oh, whoops. I should turn that off. Dang, 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 dang. I hate how loud that is. I hate it so much. For those of you who are not here, when we last left off, we were about to kill Peko Peko, whatever her last name is, Peko Mino or Peko Yama or something. Uh, now we're Sonya was like, uh, "How about not?" Um, question, real question, real answer. By the way, there's spoilers for this game, so I don't know if you've seen the first, like, bit, so. I can't believe we're 20 hours in and we're almost just barely about to get through to the sec the end of the second class trial. <laughs> Continue our discussion? But isn't the voting over? Yes, but I cannot help but feel strange. Something about this is definitely strange. Huh? DOS face cam blocking text. Yes, it is, but I read it all out loud, so don't worry about it. You should be fine. It it, it doesn't always block text. Uh, most of the time, it actually doesn't. But yeah, it, it does sometimes. There's no good place for the face cam. Trust me. I've looked. Strange? What do you mean? There's no doubt that Peko is the killer. That is true. However... As a serial killer enthusiast... You're wondering if Petko is really sparkling justice, am I right? It's the pig car dude. Uh, actually, he's a uh, teacher. Huh? Hey, Miss Sonia isn't a serial killer enthusiast. She just has a little more passion about them than most. That makes her an enthusiast. Pointing. Honestly, it felt strange to me too. I mean... There's a distinct difference between what we know about Sparkling Justice and Petco, right? A uh, distinct difference? Uh-oh. You know, Sonia describes Sparkling Justice like this. Justice complete! The center of justice that is pierced by justice! The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky! That would be me, Sparkling Justice! Of course, as every princess has an absolute adoration for serial killers. W what the heck was that? That is Sparkling Justice's catchphrase. An unknown serial killer has a catchphrase? I read it in a magazine in the library. There has only ever been one person, a journalist, who has interviewed Sparkling Justice. The article was written in their native language, so I tried translating it. I see. So that's what it was. I think I've got the difference between the serial killer and Pekko. I see! It's the nationality. That's right. According to what Sonia said... The article was written in their native language. So I tried to translate it. Why couldn't you read that the first time? Why did I have to read it? Peko. If she had to translate this, that means it wasn't written in English, right? Huh? Yes. The magazine I read was written in Spanish. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> oh my gosh, stop. So, Sparkling Justice's catchphrase was no doubt written in Spanish as well. Which means the journalist and Sparkling Justice are both! Why did I have to read it, Lazy Streamer? You're 100% correct. The main character in this dude's... Parent who, wait. The main character is this dude's whose parents paid the fuck ton of cash. I have no clue what you're talking about, and I swear to God, if you just... If you just played a spoiler, I'm gonna cut you. The main character doesn't know why he's here. He doesn't know anything. I swear to God, Quentin, I will kill you. <laughs> From Spain? What? 
<laughs> Why are you using emotes now, Ibuki? All this time, I completely misunderstood. We know that he said he was a huge fan of the school at the very beginning, and that's it. I don't know what the game covers. <laughs> Quentin, I think you just spoiled something on accident. And I can't even feel completely mad, but like, that still doesn't make sense as to what Hajime actually is the ultimate of. You watch the anime, fuck. I'm legit sorry, it's no big deal, but hold up a second. <laughs> Um, I didn't... There isn't an anime of the second one. There's only an anime of the first one and the third one, Quentin. These are not the spoilers you are looking for. When I first heard about those serial killers, Genocide Jack... <coughs> Genocide Jill, what? And Sparkling Justice. I just assumed both serial killers were from the same country. But that wasn't the case. If so... You're not sparkling justice. There's no way that's possible. So I didn't spoil anything. I don't know. It, you might have spoiled the third game. But I don't know whether or not it's supposed to be, like, obvious in the third game. I don't know. Like, if they tell us right away. Or, if you insist that you're sparkling justice, can you try saying that catchphrase in Spanish? It's a fact laid out in the fucking beginning. Then it's probably something that's just, um, laid out at the start of Danganronpa 3. Which is gonna be weird. The idea of somebody getting paid to go in. Also, I'm like 90% sure Peko lied about this just to get us all to kill ourselves so she could live and get off the island. Would you be able to do that? She can't speak Spanish, let's be real here. Hmm. It appears that the time has come for this mask to come off. Exclamation point band caps. Lol. They explain everything about that, just ignore me. Got it, ignoring. Rolling with it. So, Pekko. However, that's perfectly fine. It's no longer necessary. And even if you find out now, it's too late for you all to do anything about it. Is she like the ultimate assassin or something? And like, Fuyuhiko actually paid for her to assassinate him? Or uh, assassinate uh, Mahiro? My duty has already been finished. I'm so confused. My duty as a tool has already been completed in full. Oh my god. Are you the, um... Is she the, 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 the fake person who's actually there? Is it Trick? Uh-huh. Looks like she's back to normal? That mask has fulfilled its purpose. Just as I have. The deep red eyes, they're pretty sweet. What do you mean? Fulfilled its purpose? Too late? What are you getting at? Now that you've already cast your votes, is what it means. Huh? Hey, be clearer! We're asking you what your purpose was! She's the ultimate vampire. Dun dun dun! I have no purpose. I am just a mere tool. This is- this is getting to plot twist levels, man. Tool? What do you mean? The ultimate tool! There's a bad joke about high schoolers and being tools there, but I'm just gonna drop it. She called herself a tool, which means someone else used her then? <laughs> of course. A tool cannot do anything on its own. What is that smirk, girl? I see. I finally understand. Well, I did have a sneaking suspicion all along. What do you mean? Watching the anime for the third uh, on kind of fucked everything up for you because you're getting shit confused. Yeah, you, you shouldn't watch the anime at all. Like, the, the anime from what I've been told is actually not good. Like, the third one is terrible. Really? That's really weird because I was told Danganronpa was a terrible anime. Why should you watch it? Just watch Jovan and said Kappa. I mean, besides Pekko and Hyoko, Someone else was also at the beach house. Fuyuhiko. S someone else? Yep. There is proof that establishes that fact. Try oh. to remember it. That was your mistake, clearly. Thanks, Kolaris. The proof that there was more than one person at the crime. The body discovery announcement. I see! I thought that was weird. Are you talking about the body discovery announcement? 
I don't know why he... But, but, like, I'm wondering why he brought that up in the first place and what made it yep, such a big deal. that's right. I mean, didn't Monokuma say so earlier? So, what about this time? Is the three people including the killer or not? Jeez! Fine, fine! You want me to say it? It doesn't include the killer this time, okay? All done! That announcement is made when at least three people discover a body. And in this particular case, the killer, Pekko, is not one of those three. Which is why when the third person who went to the beach house, which I can't remember who it was, but came after... whatever. If that's the case, it would mean only Hyoko and Kazuichi discovered there we go. the body, but... I see. That leaves us one person short. So that means there was one more person in the beach house. Plus, the fact that Monokuma tried to hide that truth from us by being flexible with his own rules. That's such a vital clue that it could alter the outcome of the trial. Like an accomplice, for example. You saw me feet in the background, lol. Question, I no, have an answer. That's not it. Huh? Am I wrong? Yes. From your basic way of thinking about it, you are wrong. Didn't I tell you? I'm just a tool. That means I'm just a simple tool to be used by that person. Huh? Do you know what the others are the ultimate of? I know the ultimates of everything except for Hajime. So for reference, we're just going to go through the other the ultimates really quick. Hajime is the character we play as. We do not know who he is. There are a bunch of other characters. Nagito, ultimate lucky. Byakuya is this exact same person. He's the ultimate... Um, uh, something progeny affluent progeny gundam is the ultimate breeder kazuichi is the ultimate mechanic uh Toru Toru is the ultimate uh chef sonia is the ultimate princess chiaki is the ultimate gamer akane is the ultimate gymnast uh fuyuhiko is the ultimate mobster or yakuza uh nekumaru is the ultimate trainer team captain i think uh hyoko is the ultimate traditional dancer Makiru is the ultimate photographer, Mikan is the ultimate nurse, Ibuki is the ultimate musician, and Pekko is the ultimate swordsman. There you go. Therefore, that person would have the strongest motive out of anybody else here, right? Uh, Ibuki, Mikan, and Shaki are the ultimate waifus. Let's be real here. Hi, friend. I love seeing Usami because she's adorable, but at the same time, I feel bad because she's tied up, but it's also funny. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Micah. You totally got it confused with the third one, didn't you? It's all good. Uh, it's Fuyuhiko. You're the only one! Is it Fuyuhiko? I see. Now I finally We're just gonna go with yeah. But even if it's the motive, it's just a game, right? There's no reason to believe it's even true. Would you call a game like that a strong motive? No. The events that occurred in the game should have definitely occurred in real life. There's overwhelming proof of that, too. Uh... Um... Wait, what? What? I don't know what we're talking about. Hold up. No, the events that occurred in the game should have definitely occurred in real life, too. There's overwhelming proof. Even if this motive is Gusty Game, there's no reason to believe it's even true to call a game like that. I'm so confused. Entrance hall photo? Is it the prize? Ending prize? We didn't use that yet. I can prove it with yeah, this. Yeah, okay. I didn't think it was necessary to confirm it if it didn't have anything to do with Mahiru's murder, but there's no doubt that game is based on actual events. That much is clear if you saw the ending prize. The photos awarded for beating the game are not actual in-game screenshots. Oh my god. Windows Explorer, I need you to shut up. How do I turn this off? It, it made an entire, like, drive and it won't go They're away. all actual photos with the surrounding scenery cropped out. You 
knew all along, Fuyuhiko. Didn't you? I'm still confused as to why Peko did it for him. You knew whether or not the first victim in the game was actually your little sister. Right? Right. Because whoever beat the game first and received the ending prize. It was Fuyuhiko, which we already knew. Hey, what's that envelope? What What's inside? It, shut up! What makes you think you have any right to question me? It was the envelope, right? The person who received the ending prize. It was you, wasn't it? How did he just now figure this? Like, is he actually genuinely just now figuring this out? Or, like, what? Because he's really dumb. If you were shown a photograph of your sister's dead body, you'd have no choice but to believe it. Even so, you wanted to deny the truth. That's why you sent those photos to Mahiru to confirm it. <laughs> the ultimate subtle envelope carrying guy, Kappa. Hey, why are we talking about Fuyuhiko? Who cares? Uh, isn't it kind of important? Peko is the killer, right? Is she really, though? If she was the one, well, if she's just used as a tool by somebody else to kill. Isn't that like saying, well, technically the, the sword's the killer. But but the baseball bat's the killer. You already wrote it. That's why I told you. You're all too late. Stop smirking like that. Also, why was she so, like... If you pay someone to kill someone else, they're technically still the killer, but you... Who gets charged with murder? The murderer. Uh, does the person who hires a hitman get charged? I thought it was accomplice, not the same thing. As I said before, I exist as nothing more than a tool. Different degrees, I believe. I did not know that. I thought degrees were whether or not it was premeditated or not. I had no motive for killing Mahiru. No reason to kill. Not even the will to kill. Then why'd you kill, Peko? I was simply used as a tool. As long as I am a tool, I cannot defy my orders. But yeah, right? What a smirk. But also, why could she not defy orders? I would like hey, to know what's going on. What's going on? Can anyone give me a simpler explanation? Thank you, Akane. It means I'm not the killer. The true killer, who used me as their weapon to kill Mahiru Koizumi, was Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu. What? Is she in the Yakuza? Maybe. I, I don't know. I'm so confused. What Can you give me details? Hell? Thanks, Akane. I see. That's what you were aiming for all along. No. I have no aim. But my young master does. My young master planned this from the start. What? Young master? That is the truth of this case. The person instigating a proxy murder may or may not be legally guilty of committing the, the crime of murder. That's the most worthless sentence ever. You may or may not. You know, it's whatever. <laughs> it's just murder. Don't worry about it. Various where the world and where in the world, uh, if usually the person who instigated is guilty as well, they may be charged with murder, conspiracy to murder, or being an accessory to murder. I'm used to the latter two, I'm sure the conspiracy you or the it by accessory. Now, but it's too late. You cannot undo the vote. Well, would we technically be been right if we would have guessed either of them? That's a problem. If Peko's allegation holds up, that means our vote was incorrect. In that case. The person who gets to live is... Do we lose? Just me? That's nuts! No matter how you look at it, that's completely insane! H how would Peko be a tool in the first place? This isn't fair. Peko is a legitimate human being! That's not for you to decide. It's for Monokuma. I think this is gonna be... This is a huge problem. The votes have been cast. All we can do now is wait and see what Monokuma decides. A student killed a student. I think Monokuma has to officially decide that. Is Monokuma still sleeping? I don't think so. What the hell? Wait, what? What the hell? What? <laughs> 19 points. Well, whatever. I'll take 102 coins any day. I'm almost done with all the stuff I need anyways. Game over. You all lose. Hmm, I'm in a bind. And what a bind it is. What only a bean.
I know, I'm such a slacker. I, I think he's going to err on our side because a student still killed a student. And the question was finding out a student, not finding out the actual original killer. He, she's still a student, even if she's, consider, if she's considering herself a tool. I guess for now, let's take a quick recess. We'll be right back after this commercial break. All right, rolling ads then, Monokuma. I totally can't, by the way. Otherwise, I would for the memes. Wait, what? Hmm. Although there were some twists and turns along the way, the one who killed Mahiro Koizumi is... Hold on a sec. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Oh, wait. So sorry. I'm just hesitating. Hey! Th there's... There's no need to hesitate. No matter how you look at it, Pekko's the killer. <laughs> Why? Hey, hey! Ad blocker. Oh, feels bad, man. W why? <laughs> well, that's obvious. You're not a tool. You're a friggin' human being. Well... If I'm a human, then I'm not a tool. If that's what you're saying, you're wrong. You just don't know. Because you don't know. You just don't know that there are people who only exist to be tools. I don't think that's how that works. People such as myself only exist to be tools? Hey. What does she mean for you, Hiko? <clears throat> Peko and I grew up together. Um. Are you two childhood friends then? No. No, it's completely different than that. Right after I was born and abandoned by my parents, the Kuzu Ryu clan took me in. Hey, we have a winner! I am nothing but a tool. They gave me a reason to exist. I am to fulfill my duty as my young master's property. What? Property, you say? It means she's a hitman, arranged by my clan to work directly under me. If my young master is attacked, I must defend him as his shield. If he intends to kill, I must be his sword. Something's kind of adorable about her being a little baby with a sword, but at the same time I'm torn because it looks ridiculous and I hate babies. So... That is my only reason for living. Before I am human, I am my young master's tool, first and foremost. Until this body of mine can no longer move, I shall fulfill my duty <laughs> until sword. the very end. Love it. That is... Oh, yeah, I thought you were going to say that. You are wrong. You are not a tool, Pekka. Because if you are a tool, <sighs> then what was all that time we spent together? Nothing. Huh? Ow. Ow. Oh, I felt that from here, man. Oh, that hurts. Ow. <laughs> I was ordered by my young master to behave just as I was ordered to interact with you all. Savage, no joke. Savage is like an underestimation. Oh, man. Oh, ow. What? Our professional relationship doesn't exist on this island. We're just fellow high school students now. Right after we arrived on this island, that is what my young master ordered me to do. You fiend. That is why you were hiding your relationship, you mean. No. It's not as if... That started the moment we arrived on this island. Before that, my young master always told me to hide our relationship. My young master loathes relying on this, his household's power. He even hates me, the tool given to him by his household. I am nothing but a tool. No matter what I am told, I am nothing but a tool for killing. If Young Master intends to kill, it is only natural for me to act as his tool. Then, the one who tried to kill Mahiru wasn't you. It was... Uyuhiko? Damn it. It, it is what it is. But when I beat the game, I was suddenly given these photographs. Damn it! I, I don't understand. Why is my sister in these photos? Don't fuck with me! And she's covered in blood. 
What does it mean? Why can't I remember? How come I don't even know if my sister is dead? You... Tried to confirm it with Mahiru. And that's why you wanted to talk to her. So... Yeah. I sent her these photographs, because I wanted to make sure she'd respond. But she never replied back to me. Not only that, she started avoiding me too. But... I'm pretty sure Mahiru was confused too. I mean, we all were. Before anyone played that game, we didn't even know this incident happened. That's why, even if we were told that we're connected to it, there's no way we could accept it. Um... Um... You know, when Mahiru spoke to Ibuki, she mentioned something about this. Aww... Oh. Sorry, I actually have plans to go to the beach with everyone. Oh my my! Wait, huh? You're not gonna go with Mahiru? If you want to talk about it there, I'd be totally fine. Hmm... Um, it's pretty unimportant. So, you know, it'd be pretty troubling to involve the others. Huh? You sound pretty serious. Um... Serious or not, I can't really do anything about it on my own. So I wanted someone to think about it with me. But... If I need to make amends, I would, but I don't even know how. Are you serious? That definitely sounds serious. I can cancel my beach plans for you. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's important that everyone gets along anyway. Just tell them I'm not feeling well. Plus, it doesn't have to be today. There's always tomorrow. Oh. She wanted to discuss how to make amends. But Hyoka was the only one who accepted her invitation. <laughs> I should have gone too. But... But it was rather convenient for you, wasn't it, Fuyuhoko? Fuyuhiko? Oh, oh my god. Fuyuhiko. If you could make use of their plan to meet up with each other alone, you could easily lure Mahiru into a trap, right? Hey. By calling them at, uh, to the beach house, you were able to pin the blame on Hyoka. What the? Seriously, what the heck? An eye for an eye. That's the world I live in. My little sister murdered. If the reason that happened was because of some person here. Damn it! I have no choice but to kill that person on my sister's behalf, right? And so... My young master thought of a plan and executed it. I wanted to use a bat as the murder weapon because in that game, that's what was used to kill girl E. For revenge. Clubbing the person to death the same way my sister was killed just seems to make sense. Even if it ruined my disguise, it's the only thing I could do to avenge my sister. That is... So, that is why you killed Mahiru with the bat. <sighs> but still, I believed her up until the very last minute. That game was just a work of fiction. Even so, that bitch... If that game is actually real, are you the one who killed girl E? Why, you? I don't want to hear about that. But... The fact that your sister was killed is terrible. It's unfortunate, but... Why? You shouldn't have killed that girl. Shut the hell up! Who, who cares about that? Just answer me. What do you know about that game? What are you saying? You had no right to do that. Nobody has the right to judge others for their crimes. Revenge is just wrong. Jeez. Want me to be honest? This whole time, I was acting like a coward. Even after I called over Mahiru, I was still trying to find an excuse to not go through with the plan. Yeah. But after she said that to me, that all went out the window. I got really pissed off and grabbed the metal bat that I hid under the bench. At that <laughs> moment, Young Master called for me and made me kill Mahiru. Huh? Huh? Young Master, I am finished. Man. What? You! Are you saying that you killed? Are you saying that you killed it because you were ordered to? <laughs> A tool is not defined by its will, but by its actions. Eh? Uh, 
Fuyuhiku seemed surprised. Yeah, I think she just grabbed the bat and swung it. I think Fuyuhiko was going to kill, and she took it. This, which is why it completely disproves her idea anyways. But she's also trying to get Fuyuhiko out of the island. So I think... She, I don't think he ordered her, but she's trying to get him freed from this island. Yeah, exactly. I don't get this at all. Of course! Well, of course you don't understand. Because humans are completely different from one another. Everyone's birthplace and upbringing is different. It's obviously impossible for them to understand each other. Hmm. So everyone just pretends to understand and pretends to be understood. Be quiet. Hey, you're too annoying. Can you just be quiet? Yes, indeed. Okie dokie, I'll be quiet. <laughs> Afterward, just as my young master planned, I proceeded to tamper with the scene of the crime. However, I also considered the possibility of being found out. <laughs> so in order to get you guys to make the wrong choice, I decided to make use of that serial killer story. It cannot be. You insisted you were sparkling justice in order to make us hasten our votes. Mm. So we fell for it. We fell for her trick all along. <laughs> That's right. You guys have made the wrong decision. You voted me, a mere tool, as the killer. Unaware my young master was the true killer. That's obviously wrong. Oh, oh, hold on. Don't act like our loss has been decided yet. No. No, it should be decided already. Isn't that right, Monokuma? This is troubling. I'll admit, all this talk about Pekko being a tool sounds pretty persuasive. When you approach it from various angles, it makes sense that Fuyuhiko is actually the true killer. Are we going to get into a yet another person's fetish forced onto us? <laughs> Lol. Uh, hold on! I'm telling you to hold on! I see. So, for Pekko, Fuyuhiko himself is your true hope, then. On his behalf, you killed Mahiru, and now you're trying to sacrifice us so you can protect him. Great! You would go that far because he's your one and only true hope. Wrong. Wrong. I have no hope. I am just... <laughs> a tool? <sighs> well, even if we ask her, She'll probably play dumb anyways. Now then. So I'm going to ask someone else. Fuyuhiko, what do you think? Yeah, this game is about high school teens drowning in hormones. What do you expect? Oh my god, Cyclone. Huh? Uh, about what? Hey. Is Pekko just a tool to you? Using that tool, surviving by sacrificing Pekko and the rest of us. <laughs> is that your hope? What? Hmm. Hold on. What's the use of asking someone like that? Not all teenagers are kinky uh, are, uh, AF, though. Are they thinking? Uh, I don't think so. What? You seem distressed. A mere tool doesn't panic like that, right? Jeez. Pekko, be honest. Are you trying to protect Fuyuhiko of your own free will? Hey. Fuyuhiko, can you tell me the truth? The fact that she was ki that she killed on your behalf. The fact that she lied to us by acting like the true killer. Are those all things you ordered her to do? Is that the truth? Huh? I... I... Um, yeah. Fuyuhiko. I know you hate our guts, but... Huh? If you listen to Pekko, we're all gonna die. Yeah. I... 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 Young master. You just have to tell the truth. I was only following your orders. You have to tell them that. I... Fuyuhiko. You mentioned this before, but... In this kind of situation, interacting with others will just shorten your lifespan. Those idiots, Byakuya and Teru Teru, are proof of that. Plus, it'd be frustrating to be held by infection when it's my time to kill. You're... You're still saying that. Maybe all the ultimate high schoolers are just tell a kinky. Ultimate kinky? Ultimate kinks. Dun dun dun. Of course. I'll sacrifice the lives of everyone here if it guarantees my survival. Ultimate kinksters, lol. You don't really feel that way, right? You're not that kind of person. Because if you were, you wouldn't be hesitating like you are now. Right? Young master! 
There's no need to hesitate, young master. Please, tell them the truth. Young master, you were the one who ordered me. I just did as I was told because I am a tool. Hmm. Fuyuhiko, this can be considered your ultimate choice. Regardless, either way, you'll still lose Peko, but... Hey. If you insist you're the killer, just as she said, you can sacrifice us and survive alone. <laughs> or would you rather reject Peko and fight alongside us against despair? Which one will be your hope? Let's hear what you have to say. Damn it! I... I... Young master, I am finished. You... You... What the hell did you do? You, you already know, right? What's going to happen? After you kill someone? I did it because I know. There is no way I can let that happen to you. Yeah. Hey, Pekka. Do you remember what I told you when we first arrived on this island? Dun dun dun. Our professional relationship doesn't exist on this island. We're just fellow high school students now. You need to run. Got it? Just let me take the fall so you can get away. Young master, that is impossible. Sh Shut up! I'm ordering you not to worry about me! There is no way I cannot worry about you. I know, he cares so much about her. This is like heartbreaking. I am my young master's tool. A tool to protect my young master. Without an owner, the tool serves no purpose. God damn it, we are done with that crap! Why won't you listen to what I'm saying? Regardless, I will not flee. Besides, I'm fairly certain they'll discover the truth soon enough. <laughs> then why did you... I have a plan. Huh? A plan? Please do not worry. I promise I will keep my young master alive and return him safely home. This game is playing with our emotions way more than the first one. I fully agree with you. <laughs> You idiot. What do you intend to do? I intend to fulfill my duty as your tool. Now please, go! Hyoko will be waking up soon. After you leave, I must block the door to the road with Mahiru's body. Hurry! Peko, there are healthier ways than this to get off. Wow! <laughs> Kailara's place. Damn it. You better run away. Got it? Just forget about me! Forget about the Kuzuryu clan! You better escape! So, how about it, Fuyuhiko? Please, tell me the truth. Sorry. I'm sorry, Peko. She wants to be used as a tool, definitely. Right? Wow. Wow. I guess I couldn't go through with it after all. Young master! I'm a disgrace. Because if that's actually what I have to do to survive, I'd feel ashamed of myself. It'd mean I can't live without people depending on something. It'd feel like just disgusted with myself. This is a terrible accent. Peko. And if I admit to that, it means you really are just a tool to me. How many times did I tell you? I don't want a tool given to me by the Kuzu Ryu clan. Does, she, does he lose his ultimate title now, though? I don't know. Young master... Uh, oh my so this is how it turned out too bad and here i thought it'd be a little more brutal and heartless man how disappointing which means everything happened thanks to her meddlesome actions why you there's no way a human that meddlesome could ever be considered a tool hey monokuma you knew all along didn't you you knew that Peko and Fuyuhiko discussed. Jeez. Well, it's obvious now. I mean, that's why you have the surveillance cameras. You were just having fun, huh? <laughs> Man, even if it was an act of desperation, Peko's claim was surprisingly interesting. <laughs> You're actually the first to try and influence the outcome of a trial like that. <laughs> but too bad. You're definitely the killer. Pekko, the tool with the heart, is the killer. Sorry. Pekko, I'm sorry I couldn't fulfill your request. 
Even though you did all that to provide me the chance to survive. But I... <sighs> I had a feeling it would turn out like this. Huh? Huh? Young master! You have a kind heart, despite being a Yakuza. That's why you question your position and constantly worry about it. For you to sacrifice someone else just to escape by yourself. I believed you wouldn't accept that so easily. <laughs> We've been together ever since we were children. Even a tool would understand that. What? Th then, why? Even so, I wanted you, I to, es wanted you to escape. Feels really bad. This hurts. This hurts so bad. I wanted to protect you. Echo. I am terribly sorry. I will not be able to serve by your side until the very end, young master. Goodbye. <sighs> and I'm sorry for what I've done to you all, too. It may be a selfish request, but please forgive my young master. And please do not cause a senseless killing such as this ever again. This feels so bad. Of course. <laughs> Pekko. Huh. That will do, Monokuma. Why don't you start it already? I will never feel despair. Just so you know, I will never feel despair. As long as I am a tool, I am fully prepared to die. So cool! <laughs> so cool! But will you be able to maintain that composure until the very end? People who act proud as you always shed tears of despair in the end. <laughs> now then, let's begin. Young master for you, Hiko. Please permit me to make one final selfish request. So? Didn't I tell you not to call me young master? I want you to remember. The tool, Peko Peko Yama, who used to stand by you. I would like it if you remembered that. <laughs> That's it. Oh, man. How many times do you have to keep... I don't need any tools. <sighs> you did say that. <laughs> then let's begin. The time for punishment is brimming with despair. Why don't you get it already? Thrills, chills, kills! This time for the ultimate swordsman, Peko Peko Yama! Why? You stayed by my, sty my side all this time. Why don't you get it? Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! He says that because he doesn't think of you as a tool you dunce, right? I never needed a sword or a shield I never needed a tool so you needed a friend you Feels didn't so need to become a tool let's give it everything we've got I'm so sad right you just you just needed to be yourself I, I never wanted a tool I just wanted you. Only you. This really hurts, man. Oh my god. Young master? He's gonna say I love you, isn't he? Why? Why couldn't you understand? We've always been together ever since we were kids! Let's go! It's punishment time! <laughs> Please, Pekko. Don't go! I need you! Don't leave me! Oh man, this hurts. This hurts so bad. Young master? Young master? Ow. This hurts. My heart, man. Ow. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's a really cool reference, though. But, 
Oh. They both deserve eternal suffering for trying to pin it on Squishy. Shut up, Cyclone! Get out of here! <laughs> Is he gonna try to save her? What's going on? That did that just happen? No, I feel so terrible. Oh, my gosh, that is impossible. even if we you go, this is bad. This shouldn't be allowed. People dying so easily. Falling like dominoes. <laughs> you bastard. What is this? Th this can't be. This... This is all a lie, right? Peko! Fuyuhiko! Such a waste. For heaven's sake. This is just the worst. Jeez, what a waste. This conclusion, what a waste. This is why she should have just discussed it with me. Damn it. It was supposed to be a clash between two hopes, but it was crushed into something so unpalatable. Oh, fuck off, Nagito. Right? What a piece of shit. Oh. You... You're still talking about that? You. What the hell is wrong with you? Aren't you pissed that two of your friends got killed? Such despair. I am pissed. I even feel sad and hopeless, but Isn't still, right. it's going to be all right. This despair is worthless. <laughs> oh my god, Chiaki's like, dude, can you not, right? Even this despair is just a ladder to a bright, shining future that awaits us. The higher the ladder, the brighter we can shine. That is the unmistakable truth. Hmm. Calling me a ladder, huh? You got some pretty interesting things. You say some pretty interesting things. <laughs> In a way, your misguided thoughts of what hope should be remind me of him. Hmm. I don't really understand what you're saying. Nagito is a boner again. Can we just, like, kill him already? Okay, actually, I don't want to kill Nagito. I don't want to kill anyone. I don't want anyone to die. I just really would like him locked up again. Oh, man, I tell you. Uh, listen carefully. Anyway, I shall make a declaration. We will definitely destroy you. <laughs> uh, the hopes of all the ultimates here will definitely completely and utterly destroy you. There won't even be a strand of cotton left when we're done with you. That's your future. I mean, we don't have to kill him, but maybe we can just tie him up somewhere again or something, right? H how much longer are you planning to say such stupid things? Don't you understand? Even Fuyuhiko died. You know? Not yet. He's what? still alive. What? Everyone! Fuyuhiko's still alive. You serious? Usami looks determined. Usami is filled with determination. <laughs> Fuyuhiko! Frantically, we rushed over to Fuyuhiko's side. He, he, he's still... he's still breathing! Is he gonna be okay? Do something! Hey! You need to save him! Hey! I'm trying! But his blood... he won't stop bleeding out! His pulse is getting weaker! I'm not sure this is making it any better. Can't you... Can't you do anything about it? 
God damn it! Nekomaru is pretty funny. Huh? Well, serves him right. You're so stupid. Were you filled with the hope of the thought of saving her yourself? That's why you ended up like that. You stupid brother. What are you so laid back about? You need to hurry up and save him. I don't believe it. Monokuma rude, right? Huh? A surprise order? What the heck? Why do I have to burn my precious calories just to save some Yakuza scum? That's wrong. It's your duty to save him. Huh? Duty? Because hey, hey. it's written in the school field trip rules. Usami gonna put Monokuma in his place, get wrecked. If the blackened is exposed, they alone will be executed. If only the blackened gets executed, then Fuyuhiko shouldn't be allowed to get executed. <laughs> well, if I could, I would do something about it right now. But since my magical stick was taken away, I'm practically powerless. Oh snap, you go girl, isn't that right? Let's go Usami, represent. Hey, hey. But you should be able to do it. Unbelievable. Jeez, I guess I have no choice. Fine, fine. Well, there's no way I can violate a rule, even if it's me. So? Fine then, I'll save him. R really? Like? I was actually gonna do it all along, so I already prepared for this. Hmm? Huh? Prepared? He wasn't executed, he ran into a sword by himself. What the fuck, Monokuma? Cyclone, please! You shush. And that's when it happened. A siren began ringing from out of nowhere and gradually grew closer and closer. Mono ambulance? Oh, uh, an ambulance? Just leave the rest to me, Dr. Kilgood. Wee woo wee woo. Dr. Kilgood, you've already killed your patients. We gotta get this patient to the Monokuma Hospital ER and get him under 24-hour observation stat! So, I'll see you later! And after he said that, the ambulance containing Monokuma and Fuyuhiko vanished from our sight. Monokuma, no! OMG. Oh. Um, is it really gonna be okay to leave this to Monokuma? Damn it. It can't be helped. It's not like there was any other way. Perhaps. He's gonna be fine. He's probably gonna get better and come back to us again. <laughs> You're right. He's definitely gonna come back and talk a lot of smack as if nothing happened. Hmm. Then all we can do is wait. <laughs> Why do we have to wait for him? I mean, he caused Mahiro's death, you know? However, we must put that aside since Pekko has already been punished. Or else we will not be able to advance forward. Fall, my tears. There are no second chances in life. We cannot return to what has already transpired. He's gonna be so upset about Pekko, right? I don't think... He didn't really order it and that's part of what makes it worse. I, he really, really cared about her and just wanted her to be her. He didn't want anybody to die. He just, he wanted everything to be normal. It's heartbreaking, honestly. There is no other way to, to move forward like an arrow of light piercing through the darkness. <laughs> D damn it! I, I guess things aren't as exciting if a shit stirrer like him ain't around. I didn't really realize it, but I was wishing for that, too. From the bottom of my heart, I really wanted him to return. Fuyuhiko! I don't want anyone else to be a sacrifice. It's really not. I didn't want anybody to die. No, you don't want anybody at all to die from the start. I guess we really shouldn't be surprised. I guess we really shouldn't be surprised. The tough guy who actually is off the heart is a pretty common trope. Yeah. And so the class trial ended. He does have a short temper, though. But we still can't see the real ending that we want yet. When that finally arrives, 
What will have happened to us by then? No matter where I look, no matter what possibilities I look for, I can't see our future. Not even a speck. Who cares about that annoying little brat anyway? Cycle and Pliss. Yeah, you're right. Who cares about Squishy anyways? As if we were in a boat, floating unreliably in a vast, dark sea. We were just left alone. There alone. And now time for a complete change of tone and to frolic together in free time. I know you didn't mean her so cycling, but you set yourself up for that. Only one word could describe our situation. Despair. We couldn't find a more suitable word than that. Fifteen days left. I know what you were talking about, Cyclone, but but I uh just saying. You guys can see it, right? You can see this countdown too? What is with the bomb thing? I must have missed that. That was at the start they introduced it, but none of us know what it's for. Poor people are already gone. We took our time preparing the hope fragments, but now we're no longer able to gather them. Honestly, I'm not so sure anymore. Okay, maybe I didn't miss it then. Yeah, no, no, no. None of us know what it's for. Whether it's better oh. if we let them leave this island, or if we shouldn't let them escape. I guess assume Usami does know, but isn't telling us because she's a little punk. For those kids, which option is hope and which is despair? But I guess there's no time to hesitate. If this countdown reaches zero, that guy will probably take over our plan's final stage as well. What? What lies beyond that is the foul resurrection of the ultimate despair. What? And the continuation of the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. What? <laughs> that cannot be allowed. We must prevent that by any means necessary. Do I get Mukuro back? Because I'd be okay if it means I get Mukuro back. She was so misunderstood. Even if... We have to pay the ultimate price. I will definitely prevent it by any means. Super, 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 super. I just super, had to do super, that. Super, 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 super despair. Go, go, Usami, magical girl. Everything is for the sake of a future filled with hope. By the way, um, I don't even know what the halfway point of this is. But at this point, we're through Chapter 2, and we played over 20 hours of this game. I just want to throw that out there. That's kind of crazy, which to me makes me think this game is significantly longer than the first game. Death lies in video games. You've obtained a present, a black dragon blade. Oh. Can I give it? to Fuyuhiko and he just carries it around forever like that's the most heartbreaking but also most proper thing to me I'm actually so sad no one's here right why am I here what <laughs> squishy squishy what you doing man I can totally see it now those idiots. I can't wait to see the surprised look on their dumb faces. <laughs> but they'll probably be happy about it. They'll probably be very, very happy. Alrighty. <laughs> Yoko. Bing bong. Uh, with cake? I don't know. Let's check my pet. 1350. So we're going to save again. And I'm actually going to go to the menu really quick. And if it's at... I, I want to do more story, but I kind of want to play... So what do you guys think? Should I play Miracle Magical Girl um, Usami offline? And just play through that offline? Or do you want me to play it whenever this stuff comes, uh, comes up free? Oh, speaking of which. We're going to change it to Japanese language. Because I don't see a reason to need the language at all. Thoughts? Uh, 
Well, spoiler, do you guys see the new island we're unlocking? Titty Typhoon. <laughs> Maybe off stream? Okay, cool. Well, now you know we're going to... Well, I guess we get to go see what Titty Typhoon is then, huh? Oh. Lewd. I need to I need to fix that emote. I feel like I need a more lewd lewd emote. So, if anybody has a lewd emote they want to submit slash you think I should use, uh, let me know. Because I, I want one that's a little more lewd than that. I feel like it's really hard to see that that's lewd. It just looks like a random Chihiro face. Which might be my fault for cropping it poorly. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee. Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day! Have a beautiful day! Now then, let's... I have to say that. It's just, it's required because it's so much better than what he says. Morning, huh? In the end, I was so worried about Fuyuhiko that I, I couldn't sleep. Involving himself in Peko's execution like that. Suffering all those wounds. To be fair, arguably, you could argue that if he didn't get cut, she wouldn't have freaked out and probably might not have died right away. Is he really gonna live? And... Was it really okay to leave him in Monokuma's care? Worry has consumed my heart. My body feels terribly burdened. But that worry ends here. There's no way I can just lay here and do nothing. Loosening my stiff body, I slowly sat up in bed. I guess I should head over to the restaurant. That's right. Just, just do it. I should meet up with everyone at the restaurant first, and then we'll question Monokuma afterwards. I'm definitely going to find out if Fuyuhiko is safe or not. First things first. Nope, no hidden burrs. Collection's getting bigger. He's really not that good at hiding things. Oh wait, does that tell me that there's five chapters or six chapters? I just realized I might have gotten a spoiler from how long the game is based off the display. One, two, three, four, five, and then arguably a sixth. So we're like maybe one third of the game man this game is really long is there anybody i can talk to out here other than sonia i have no problem with sonia don't get me wrong she's kind of a sweet she seems sweet good morning sonia huh? Huh. You hajime get back who do you think i am i am sorry oh, that was unintentional it is okay. Please be your usable self. Y yeah. That was close. I was really gonna kneel before her. Um. I am terribly sorry. I was so worried about Fuyuhiko that I could not sleep at all. That must be why my face looks terrible. I was just so embarrassed to be seen like this. I am ashamed. Then I shall go wash my face and come back one more time. Now then, ta-ta. She... Looked like she normally does. But just as I thought, Sonya and I were worrying about the same thing. Is Fuyuhiko really okay? Let's see if there's anybody in the lobby. <laughs> of course, Chiaki. Good morning, Chiaki. Hey. Yeah, good morning. You're up earlier than usual. Yeah, I couldn't really stay put and do nothing. Hmm. I see. Gaming as usual. No, I have a f slight feeling she's deliberately concentrating on her game. Do people in real life care, care about murders this much? <sighs> cyclone, cyclone, cyclone. Stay classy. Like she's trying to keep her sadness from showing by completely being focused in gaming. Or is it just me? I know that feel. Thanks for the answer. <laughs> oh, don't be silly. Of course people care about murders. Oh. Hajipe, you're already here. Hyoko, you're the only one here. Why are you at? What are you acting so anxious about? I'm, I'm not being anxious. I just happen to be awake by coincidence, so I came here early. 
I see. This girl, there's clearly something strange. Is she trying to pull some dirty trick again? Looking around. Uh, why is there a thing to Satan? What is that? What, what the heck is this? Praise Satan. A panel has been propped up. It's giving some sort of dreadful, unsettling vibe. There's a bunch of photos placed all over it. Didn't Mahiru take these photos? <laughs> Hashtag Hail Satan. Cyclone. But what's with this terrifying ambiance? Yoko already killed someone and sacrificed them to Satan, confirmed. Wow, what is this? What an adorable decoration. Um, I don't know who did it, but they must have spent so much time and effort doing their best to make it. <laughs> uh, fastest chapter ever. <laughs> Mahiru's gonna be so happy, too. Oh, God. Oh, God, she's... She's in denial. I... I don't know who did this, but we should be grateful to them, right? Hey, Hyoko, did you... Uh, hello. Uh, good morning. It is rare to run into you two there. <clears throat> what are you looking at? Huh? <coughs> what, uh, what, what are these horrifying photos? I expected that reaction. <laughs> Mikon did it. Oh, okay. No. <coughs> Yo. <coughs> what happened? You? What's up? What's up? Is it a brawl? Huh? Yo! What's all this ruckus in the morning? <laughs> Th this is bad. Please, please, take a look at these photos. Huh? Huh? Photos? Whoa! Whoa! What the heck? Hey, 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 hey! Wh what kind of ominous crap is this? Is this, like, something you use for sorcery? This is clearly an insult against Mahiru. Damn it. I don't know who the hell did this crap, but they got a lot of nerve. I was like, did Mikan do this to a priest, Yoko? Nope. Uh, this is just too much to actually treat Mahiru's photos like this. Uh, everyone. I understand how you guys feel, but it's probably. Good day. Good morning, everyone. Good nom nom nomming! Good mongrel! Yeah! Oh my god, that was amazing! What's with those nasty photos? They're giving up a crazy huge ominous aura! Something like this! There is no excuse. This is too terrible. How could anyone be capable of such a heartless trick? No, no, seriously, it's just. I, I know, right? It's the worst. Jeez, I wonder who the hell did it. Huh? Hmm? Y you're right. There's no way Mahiru would be happy with this. <laughs> she wouldn't just be unhappy. I'm sure she'll be angry. She'll cry tears of blood. Huh? Man, who the hell did this? No! No, we have to, we'll have to search for the criminal later. At, in the meantime, fool, fire, start the fire. We'll have a grand bonfire so Mahiru can reach Nirvana. S seriously, this is... Hold it. You can't. Someone took their time to make this memorial so we can mourn for Mahiru. You can't burn it. <laughs> huh? M mourn Mahiru? What the heck? You sure it's not the other way around? I'm pretty sure whoever made this is totally disrespecting Mahiru. You think so? Really? I think it's just a little clumsy. Like, by a four-year-old who doesn't really know what they're doing. See? Why don't you take a closer look at the intent instead of focusing on appearances? Hail Satan. Perhaps. Despite their clumsiness, I'm sure whoever made this probably did their very best. If you look at it carefully, don't you feel like you can sense their feelings? Mahiru's not alone. She'll be with us now and forever. This 
was probably made with those feelings. Man, Chiaki is like... Right? Like, doing such a great job making everybody feel together and feel so good. She is, like, steadily being better and better, girl. Definitely becoming... See, like, this is the problem. Like, post Mahiru is... Ignore the cow skulls and pentagrams. Wasn't Mahiru nice? Ah, shucks. So, I definitely think... Yep, yeah, it's a nice decoration. I see. After hearing you say that, I'm starting to feel the same thing. You... You sure are simple-minded. <laughs> I don't really want to burn it. Huh? Huh? It cannot be. I was the person who made this. Mahiru <laughs> was really nice. She polite me how to ta taught me how to tie my kimono. She was really good at taking care of others. <laughs> Mahi was probably lonely by herself. So I wanted to tell her that she's not alone, even if she's in heaven. <laughs> Hyoko! You! <laughs> I did want to make it look better, but unless I'm dancing, I'm so clumsy at whatever I do. I'm sorry. I am sorry. I am terribly sorry. I spoke out of turn without considering your feelings at all. <laughs> sorry, Hyoko. Uh, I'm sorry. Hyoko lay pats. Well, how should I put this? It, it looks like we misunderstood. <laughs> now that I take a closer look, it looks like you put a lot of thought into the decorations. For now. So, let's keep this thing around until we get off this island. No. No. It should come with us when we get off this island, too. It would be a waste to leave it behind. Such wonderful photos. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're not gonna burn it? Impossible! Of course not! We would never burn it. You. Weren't you the one who started shouting that? Fine then, I'll forgive you all. Except Mikan, of course. But why? Why are you so strict with me? I see, I Man, see. Man, it's so unexpected. Meow. I really can't ma imagine Hyoko being so diligent and earnest about something. Huh. Who cares about that? <laughs> Hyoko has a very kind heart. That's not it. Kind, come on, it's not like that. Jeez! Stop it already. <laughs> you don't have to be embarrassed. Stop it! Seriously, stop it. Don't tease me. Funny how I'm the only one talking about Hyoka's emotional moment, yet everyone was crying during Fuyuhiko's. I mean, I do feel bad about all this, and I understand where uh, Squishy's coming from. I just, I feel like the problem is we've seen a lot more growth of Fuyuhiko as a character, especially through all that, versus Hyoko, we haven't really seen a lot of growth. <laughs> so it's hard to relate. Oh, Hyoko's adorable when she's embarrassed. Shut up! Shut the fuck up, you pig-faced troll! Why only me? Savage. At, at any rate, I hope this is finally settled now. <laughs> it's very like you guys to settle things like this. Huh? Really? It feels like we finally made a huge f or it feels like we made a huge fuss about it and then finally settled things. Harder to cry when she's still calling a people a pig face troll. Not wrong. That's just like you guys. Well, little by little, we're trying to understand and find the good in each other. That's the reason we can move forward without feeling despair towards our situation. Yep. Yeah, you guys are all splendid. Splendid, huh? This body is uncooperative. Hmm. I have arrived. Apologies for the... What? What the? What is that object releasing such a foul aura? Impossible! Hmm. A malice clings to Mahiru even after her death. We'll be sucked in if we look directly at it. You're the worst. Wow. This really is a hopeless object. It doesn't belong in a hopeful place like this at all. It's absolutely <laughs> brimming with despair. 
Let's just hurry up and destroy it. I can't stand to look at it for even one more second. Ooh, Nagito hates it. More reason to keep it. I'll destroy you! Stand aside. I shall satter this barbaric, blasphemous, false idol to pieces. <laughs> now that those two are here, do you still think we're splendid? <laughs> Looks like it's gonna take a little more time. I completely agree. Ow. Oh, that hurt. Ow, I swallowed that wrong. Sorry. Gunnam and Nekumaru are always so over the top. You're not even wrong. Put out the candles. The floor, the wood, the floor is made of wood. Monka S. Feels bad. But at least it was a peaceful scene. However, we didn't realize just how short-lived this peace would be. Even though we were finally bonding, a situation was brewing. Like huge fractor running between us all. Hold up, I'm gonna do something really quick. Let's see if I can hide this from you guys. I just wanna try something really quick. There's not actually really a good reason for me to do this. It just seems really fun. And I keep seeing this out of the corner of my eye, so I really wanna just do it. Ha, it totally works. Not just for me, but for every single one of us. We just hadn't realized it yet. For those of you who can't see. Trapped by the Ocean Scent, Chapter 3. <laughs> burp, right? It's the cutest little burp. It's Explorer. Explorer Pepe. Look at that little burp. Isn't it cute? He's explored too. He's got little goggles. Gotta, gotta have a little bit of happiness in this. After that, like, super sadness. Doo -doo -doo. That verb looks familiar. I was gonna say a better soul. I'm stuffed. I can't eat another damn bite. Hey. Man, you sure do eat a lot. Don't you ever worry about, like, choking? Yo. I never get worried. <laughs> you don't? Wait! What about Fuyuhiko? Um... Is he really alright? Oh, is that supposed to be smoke? That is like the crappiest animated smoke I've ever seen. I was so, so concerned. I could not sleep at all last night. Huh? Plus, if his fate is in Marukuma's paws, I'm even more concerned. <laughs> if only I could have tended to his wounds somehow. I wish I wasn't so useless. Well, don't you guys think... I don't think you guys should worry about it. You... Do you just forget everything that happens when you eat? All right! Now that I got a belly full of food, I'm all set. So... I'll show you my serious side. Leave the rest to me. I'll question Monokuma and avenge Fuyuhiko. That's obviously wrong. I got the whistle toy for him back in Wad. You know what's awesome? I have the, um... The tiniest war glaives, and it gives you a demon hunter version of him. It's best toy ever super best also maybe i'm like dense but i don't remember you ever saying you played wow uh, venge he's not even dead sheesh what vengeance you just want to test your skill <laughs> well yeah huh. she flat out admitted it hello okay everyone can i have your attention please because I never said it. Meaningless. Oh, it's you, Manumi. What do you want? Jeez! Man, the fun mood's all over now, thanks to you. All right, I'm gonna take them off and put them down. Whoopsie. Uh, did I just ruined the mood. <laughs> Jeez, don't treat me so harshly. I did my very best today, too. <laughs> Hey, who the hell are you? We're talking about something important, so go away. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Stop it! Wait, no, I definitely don't want to be treated like an outsider. Just, what do you want? What do you mean my, I did my very best? Um... Oh, you finally asked me. Hey! 
Well, once again, I've defeated another Mono Beast. How do you like me now? I worked hard, didn't I? Hey. If you defeated another Mono Beast, that means... Ding, 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 ding. That's right. You're now able to visit yet another island. <laughs> so let's all just live happily ever after with one another this time, okay? No more getting tricked by Mono Kuma. And no more thinking about leaving this island. Love, love. Let's all live peacefully as best friends. A new island, huh? Maybe now we'll finally find it. A way to get off this island and go home. No, that's the only thing we have. That's our one and only hope. Could, could it be? Huh? Are you, you guys thinking about leaving the island even though I just said not to? Do you have a minute? More importantly, Monomi, what happened to Fuyuhiko? Hmm? Huh? Fuyuhiko? Um... You see, I don't really know. I won't be fooled! Miss Sonya, can't you see it's just a waste of time talking to her? In the end, she's just Monokuma's ally. You fiend. You are so also are a part of that mysterious world ender organization, aren't you? Hey! That's the organization that brought us to this island, right? Since you're the one who brought us to this island, that's gotta be it. Hey! I don't know if you're a rabbit or a pig, but just what are you planning? Huh? This is a great opportunity. It's time you finally filled us in. <laughs> what a dilemma. But that's the one thing I can't say. Bye-bye. This, truly, this is the tragedy of middle management. Hold on a sec. She ran away again. She's always like this when things get inconvenient for her. Well. Oh, well. Who cares about Monomi? More importantly, <laughs> she mentioned a new island. What should we do? Tie you up. However, I do not think we should go exploring with Fuyuhi when Fuyuhiko is in danger. Hey, but we must move forward no matter what despair stands in our way. That's what hope should be. What hope? You always say that just before you lead us into a trap. There's something wrong with you. Jeez, you're seriously just annoying as Monokuma. Hey, hey. I'm also worried about Fuyuhiko, but... Is it really okay if we just stay here and do nothing? Isn't it better if we do what we can? What we can, huh? She's right. Let's try to find a way off this island before he comes back. Mm -hmm. You are right. Fuyuhiko will not recover any faster if we just stand around and do nothing. <laughs> I agree with Miss Sonya. All right. Then it's decided. Let's explore and search for new hope. Wait. So wouldn't it be faster to just beat up the rest of the Mono Beasts and search the rest of the islands in one go? Leave it to me! If that strange licking rabbit can defeat one, then it should be easy for us too. Hold on! Hey, don't go about doing anything reckless. <laughs> anyway, let's begin. Let's open the way to our hope-filled future with our own very hands. After all that, I feel like we're doing exactly what Nagito wants us to do. In order to prepare for exploring the new island, we left the restaurant. What do we got around here? Nobody out front? Crazy. Um, do you guys want to do some gambling or do you want to explore an island first? These are the important questions. Why is my cousin texting me? Sorry. Usually this person does not text me, so I'm a little worried about it. Gambling. Sounds like people want gambling. Dude, what degree are you getting? Apparently, my cousin does not know what degree I'm getting. Oh. If it's I'm a slowpoke, it'll be sunset down. I should go explore the new island. I don't have a choice. Hey. First things first, let's check on my one and only pet because it's the most important thing. Gotta keep Us uh, Usami growing perfectly well. Right? Don't don't be mad at me. Be mad at the game. It's all its fault, not my fault. Zero out of ten game. I'm leaving. Riot. Okay, also, not gonna lie, I kind of want to learn um, Taz Wanted for Atlanta. 
Oh, hey, uh, Cyclone, if there's a, um, a DreamHack Valencia speedrunning event, would you go to it? Just, just throwing that out there. I know it's, it's Spain and not Portugal, but I don't, not to diss Portugal, I'm pretty sure a lot of people probably can't name a big city in Portugal. Where is Valencia? The answer is no either way. Valencia is in Spain. The answer is no either way. Feels bad, man. Hey, you're not going... Oh, hey, you're not going to the new island, Necromaru? Oh, I'm worried Akane is going to do something reckless about those motor beasts. I'm going to guard the bridge for a while. I'll leave you guys to explore the new island. Yeah, got it. Necromaru's got quite a way to... Uh, quite good about taking care of people. I wonder if that's a habit of being a team manager. Womp womp. Monomi was right. The mono beast that was blocking this bridge is gone. Then, if we cross this bridge, we should reach a new island. With a feeling of hope in my heart that overshadowed any lingering fear or nervousness I felt, I crossed the bridge that led to a new island. And this is the third island. The ambiance is completely different compared to the previous islands. So I can't take Titty Typhoon seriously. The residences are all in ruins and sh are all in ruins are all in wait how can ruins be in shambles <sighs> thinking <sighs> sorry i smudged my glasses it's my fault i'm the most anti-social person in the world the last thing i want to do is play a children's video game in front of thousands of people mike are you going to the titty typhoon are we supposed to take through take it seriously is that allowed on twitch Shh. Random fact, I had to specifically... So, I'm planning way far ahead, um, just in case I do, for some reason, speed up. Which, there may or may not be an announcement Sunday about me possibly messing with my schedule a little bit. Um, I... I've been looking at, uh, the game that I want to play after, uh, Danganronpa 3. And after that, I'm looking at a game called Fate Stay... Or, Fate... Fate Stay Zero, and I actually had to patch it to get rid of all of the porn scenes and replace them with... So so the game maker made this VN and was like, people don't buy VNs, let's just add porn in it. And then they realized, oh wait, people actually like our story. And then they took the porn out uh, and replaced them with actually good scenes. So I, I had to specifically get a modified version of this game because I never, they, they, they never released it in the US. So it's a fan like patched game to also be in English too. This game was a giant pain in the neck to get, but I got it. Let's just leave it at that. Jovan is looking at porn. No, I specifically haven't looked at any of this game other than trying to get the stupid copy of it, which is a giant pain. And not just that, there's definitely no sign of people here either. It feels a little dangerous somehow. Jovan is working super extra hard to get porn, thinking. What's the name again? Fate Stay... I'll type it. Fate slash zero. Uh, specifically, the version I got is called the uh, Realta Nua version. If you get Fate Zero, we, are, we like working for our redacted... Fate Zero, if I'm not mistaken, by default has um, some lewd scenes. And then Real to Nola, uh, Nua actually got rid of those new uh, lewd scenes. Because they realized that they could actually just actually focus on real plot, not just plot. Feels a little dangerous somehow. They might be better to proceed cautiously. Let's go to Titty Typhoon. So we got cactuses. We're going to run around at first. The Wizard of Monomi. Wild Gunman Monokuma. So we got a movie theater. I can't read what that says. It's, it looks like Lucha Large International or something. Electric Avenue. That sounds like a place I should be. Oh, Jovan is doing good for the plot. Gotcha. Sneeze. Kyle Harris place. Motel. Air conditioned vacancy. Can we stay there? Music venue. Oh, of course. All good music venues are label, uh, labeled Titty Typhoon. Got it. 
Both cactuses and cacti are right. Got it. And then a hospital. Fate Stay Night, Realta Nua. There you go. Fate Stay Night. So Fate Stay Night is the original. Fate Stay Night, Realta. Fate Zero seems to be an anime. Sorry. God, there's too many. So here's the problem. Fate Slash is the series. Fate Slash Zero is an anime. Fate Slash Stay Night is the original anime and fate slash real to, uh fate slash stay night real to Nua is the one i will be playing and maybe ask to give more people uh to give people more shots unsurprisingly i prefer the latin style plural first things first let's check out the wizard of monomi or the movie theater in general oh god welcome oh god why does it look like that that looks so bad Welcome! We're currently showing right now, so please wait five minutes for the next showing to start. Hey, look, it's the poster for Despair Girls. Showing? What does that mean? What are you saying? Are your eyes just for show? Look around! This is a movie theater, right? Of course! Then I'm obviously showing a movie. Showing a movie? Well, I guess... Whoop, whoopsie. I guess there's no need to even ask. You're gonna say this is the next motive, right? Just like the Twilight Syndrome murder case. I'm definitely not gonna watch your movie. Whatever it is, I'm never gonna see it. My goodness, and I was thinking about giving you an invitation ticket. Damn it! But I won't allow you to not watch it. I went to a lot of trouble making this movie. If you don't watch it, I'm gonna be sad. Good. You deserve to be sad, you little fluffball. I'm sure your movie is no different than that game you made. No, no! That game was a shoddy piece of crap, but this movie is definitely a masterpiece. Anyway, as long as I refuse to allow it, you will never have the choice to not watch it. I am Monokuma! On this island, my word is law. And if I don't watch it, what you gonna do about it, punk? What the heck? There's no way I'd allow such reckless behavior. There's no way I'd allow it. But... What are you gonna do? I'll forgive you if you purchase a Monokuma sticker at the goods counter over there. You still haven't answered. What are you learning Taz for and when? I'm thinking about possibly learning it for DreamHack Advantage, but we'll see. It, again, it goes back to... I, I think I'm still gonna be working on running so much of it. Jesus Christ, there's like 30 minute long full on port. Oh my God. Why'd you look it up, soul? No, 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 no. R Real Tanua eliminates all of it. There's no lewd in Real Tanua. Just FYI. Monokuma sticker. Also, random fact. Fate Stay Night is not listed on Twitch's banned list, so I can play it. I'm gonna go get some food. Let's get some popped corn. A food shop. A lot of things like popcorn, sandwiches, and drinks are all arranged here. Poster. Hey, it's a bit of hidden Monokuma. It's for a video game poster. Huh, looks interesting. I'm definitely gonna buy that. Random fact, I actually am. I knew you could do it. I don't know how I feel about Monokuma being dressed that way. you think you're going? Is she shooting him with a megaphone? I don't know. Maybe. It looks like it to me. You either watch my movie or buy the sticker. I took the time to give you two choices, so make one. How much is a stupid sticker? I'm sorry I was born stupid. Oh my god, I want that sticker. <laughs> There's something strange goods on top of the counter. One looks like a tote bag made of hemp cloth with a decal of Monomi's face on it. No. Ah, uh, did that catch your eye? It's an all-purpose tote bag made for a variety of common tasks. It's a limited item. Only one person can have it. By the way, apparently tote bags were originally invented to carry around ice. I did not know that. Hmm? 
So how about it? Wanna buy it? I'll pass. But I, I actually do want to buy it. Okay. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. I'll just be up front with you. I cut a lot of corners making that thing. That's too up front. Is this the sticker you were talking about? I'm sorry, I was born stupid. It's not even funny, and I don't understand its purpose. How half-assed is that? Actually... To tell you the truth, this is a very lucky sticker I received from wandering miracle... From a wandering miracle-working priest. What? And it could be yours for the special price of only 1.5 million dollars! One and a half million dollars? Don't mess with me. I don't even have that kind of money. <laughs> then you could pay me back when you get off this island. If you don't like it, you could always watch my... Fine. I'll pay it. I don't believe it! Whoa! I'm surprised! As, as long as I can pay it off after I get out of here, I'll pay anything. Even one and a half million dollars. Ba-bum, ba-bum. You're the first person to ever pay one and a half million dollars for this sticker. In other words, you really don't want to watch my movie, huh? That makes me a sad Monokuma. Yeah. <laughs> but if I'm going to make a huge profit, it's okay. I'm a mascot who has a hobby of counting money after all. You're the worst Here. mascot. Come on, take it, thief, and slap it on your forehead, thief. Take advantage of this divine opportunity, thief! The sticker I received was even thinner and more cheap looking than I thought it would be. It's like a prize from a box of candy. Did I really agree to pay so much for this piece of crap? Maybe I am a little crazy. <laughs> Whoa there! Looks like the showing is over! Alrighty! Gotta collect those questionnaires! After all that, Monokuma started humming and skipped away towards the door leading to the theater. Slam! The door opened violently and one person appeared from within. Hey! Hey! Nagito, please answer my questionnaire! Jeez. It doesn't matter if I answer it. That movie was so boring it was torture. Minutes felt like weeks with it while I was watching it. It would be Nagito, right? Um, yes! Well, I guess that's what art is, because it's not really art if it's, unless it surpasses common sense. <sighs> I thought I was going to be a motive, another motive, but I guess it's not the case. What a letdown. If money would have settled this, I should have just settled it with money. Nagito is depressed. That movie must have been really, really bad. I definitely made the right call by not watching it. I guess I have to talk to him, probably. <sighs> I'm so tired from boredom. If money would have gotten me votes from seeing it, I should have just settled it with money. Let me ask you something. If you were told you could pay one and a half million dollars and not watch that movie... Well, that's I, obvious. I'd gladly pay it. Quick answer. The movie must have been that bad, then. Welp. Bye. Lucha Libre International. That's totally what that says. Electric Avenue. There are a bunch of street booths filled with electric appliances at the back of a narrow alleyway. Machines and other parts are cluttered together on the display. It definitely seems fishy. But wait. With this many machines, we can probably find a use for two-way communication, right? Looks like it's best if I search around here. The Voyeur Corner. Oh, man. That's a really bad movie. Yeah, if you'd be willing to pay one and a half million dollars to not watch it, that's pretty terrible. Television, Laptop Corner. Can we have uh, AI? Parts Corner. And Cell Phone Corner. We'll start with the Cell Phone Corner. That seems the most reasonable. So this is the cell phone corner. Looks like they don't get reception. Even with all this variety, they might as well be paperweights. Let's look at this microwave. Teru Teru would have never used this old microwave. 
He would proudly use the latest kitchen equipment and cook the world's tastiest dishes. With those dishes, he would have made a lot of people smile, but that's no longer. Feels bad, man. Do we get to see Alter Ego again? I would be so happy if we did. Somehow it looks like she's fishing things out of the pile of electronic, electrical appliances. Chiaki, what happened? Are you looking for something? Well? Yeah, I was wondering if there's any game consoles in here. Sometimes old hardware is treated like junk. Ah, so that's what you're doing. Um, I already have a TV in my cottage, so it doesn't seem... So it doesn't have to be a non-portable device. I'll settle for anything. If you do find something, let me know. I'll help you carry it back to your cottage. Yep. Yeah, I will. But I don't want to play video games for a while. I'd rather not be reminded of the previous incident. There's a lot of electrical appliances here in this mess, including a lot of home appliances and acoustic equipment. Chihiro happy. All of these look old. Do they even still work? Various desktop and laptop computers are arranged in an orderly manner like a pile of oversized trash. Though they're a little old-fashioned and run down, they look like they can still be used. I I know. If we can connect to the internet, we might be able to call for help with these. As soon as I thought of that, I grabbed a random laptop, pulled it out of the pile, and turned it on. Oh my god, it worked. I tried to see if it would connect to the internet. It's no use. It looks like it's not connecting. Well, there's no way it would be that easy. But just when I was about to give up... My eyes noticed the strange icons arranged on the desktop. Usami X file. Without clinking, I, without clinking, goodness, without thinking, I clicked the strangely named icon. It's a document file. Based on the format, it looks like it's some kind of report. I scanned across the words displayed on the screen. About the biggest, most awful, most tragic history in human history. This horrendous organ event organi originated with some of the students from Hope's Peak Academy causing a revolt. The students of the reserve department were dissatisfied by being treated differently than the primary department and began to fight the academy. At first, the dispute was confined to the campus, and hopes were high that it would settle down someday. But things quickly escalated. Behind the scenes of that rebellion, a huge authority was exerting its influence. Eventually, it spread like an infection, provoking riots in various parts of the world. It was unlike any other previous act of terrorism or coup d'etat. I don't actually know how to say that. Students at Hope's Peak caused the tragedy? That's what it looks like. Aside from Junko, that's what it looks like. It seemed to have a much different purpose. However, no matter what we assume, we simply cannot apply reason to this subversive movement. Nonetheless, the destruction is not a chaotic or, or disorganized. It is both powerful and malicious. Therefore, it is a subversive movement full of despair. Hope's Peak Academy became the origin of the incident and was forced to put an end to their long history. As for the students who survived, they were forced to cut to kill each other as a lesson in despair. It's no use. The words are garbled to read beyond this point. But what Boy, is this? <laughs> tough crowd. Hmm. How normal? It's not normal like a dog barking. It's such a normal reaction that's quite novel. Wait, what? Right? Now I'm really angry. Hey, can't you react with more gusto? Don't you know how very, very important this scene is? Could it be? Were you the one who created this file? What's this? My, my! What makes you think that? Because it's obviously the only thing I can think of. The biggest, most awful, and most tragic of event in human history. Riots in various parts of the world. And Hope's Peak Academy getting destroyed? It sounds like something stupid you make up. And? And? What's Hope's Peak Academy's reserve department? I've never even heard of that before. Wah wah? Huh? Really? That's weird. Of all the people, you should definitely be the one who knows about it. Wh wh what do you mean? <sighs> I guess you forgot about it, along with the memories of your school life. So it can't be helped. While we're on the subject of stupid things, 
That file said something about students who survived. Is that referring to us? Then the rest of that file is... Hey, hey, hey! Hold on a sec, you guys. Hey, hey! Just, what the heck have you been talking about? It doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Movies with no images, music with no sound, novels with no words. These are the things that truly don't make any sense. What are you saying? So if you can't say something that's, that's this simple doesn't make any sense, who cares about that? Just answer me. Who are, oh, who cares about that? Just answer me. Who are the students who survived? No. I wouldn't know a story important like that. Because I'm only good for being cute. Damn it. He ran away again. Ugh. Hey, Hajime. Don't, don't worry. It's going to be fine. I'm sure he's making it all up. Th that's, that's it. That's definitely it. There's a lot of CRTs lined up here. They look really old. It looks like they're not designed for terrestrial broadcasting. Not that it matters. It looks like the signal on the TV isn't reaching anyways. Huh? Are you serious? <laughs> Are you shitting me? What happened? I thought you'd be happier about being surrounded by so much machinery. Of course not! <clears throat> Don't say stupid things. I'm the ultimate mechanic, you know. Of course I'm happy when I'm surrounded by machines. Then you should look happier. No. Hajime, are you dumb? None of those are machines. You. Dude, try to understand how I'm feeling. <laughs> I have this unexplainable, conflicting feeling about whether or not I should be happy. What are you talking about? None of these are machines. These are computers. I can't understand that kind of feeling. But why do you feel so conflicted? Huh? There's all this machinery lined up here. <gasps> Hot damn, I want to take them apart. I want to dismantle them. Mechanic equals electrician, I guess according to this. And look inside. That's usually how I think, right? Aw, oh, man. But I know now's not the time for me to do something like that. And that's why I feel so conflicted. Is wanting to dismantle normal? Huh? Uh, Kazuichi what? Hell yeah. It's like if you have the hots for a chick, you want to take her clothes off, right? I'm pretty sure there's like... I got nothing. There's there's no... The answer's no. And you want to check out her bone structure, right? Uh, wait, what? Like, where her ribs or parts of her bones stick out, right? Uh, Shihiro repaired the pro computer because she's the ultimate programmer, right? What? Kylaris, duh. Don't you know all guys care about bone structure? Get out of here. That's like the number one most important thing. That's not normal. That's pr that's a pretty acrobatic sex fetish. Taking clothes off is not... Taking clothes off did not go where I expected it to, right? You serious? Seriously? Uh, I see. So wanting to see a chick's bone structure makes me a little perverted. Uh, pretty much. I don't know about the bone structure part, but definitely taking your clothes off. So I'll be honest, I totally thought that was part of the sign. Huh? I've been found. I definitely thought that was a sign, not the actual thing, a hidden Monokuma. Every single character has some fetish. Not like this. I don't even know what that's. Stress. How is there not a single vanilla one? Hajime. What is this? There's so many machines just by looking at them, I have no clue what they're used for. Ah. Uh. Uh, I don't really recommend that section. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure amateurs won't really get it. All that stuff in there. It's... It, all that stuff in there. It's all machines used for stuff like wiretapping or recording secret videos. Uh... It looks like there's some ancient looking surveillance cameras too. We probably haven't figured out his fetish yet. With, uh, with the rate this game is going. A... Machines used recording for recording secret videos? Huh? Hey, hey, don't get it twisted. I have mechanical knowledge of those things. I've never actually used them before, all right? No one said you did. Hey, speaking of surveillance cameras, we're being constantly videotaped and wiretapped by Monokuma, right? Like, I'm kind of jealous. 
Because what does he see when he's watching Miss Sonia? Uh, how about not? He says he's never used those before. If I let him be, he's the type of person who eventually will. All right, I think that's everything. Well, I think we got one more place to check out. Two more places. One more place today, though. Motel Courtyard. Ew, it's squishy. It's a small building with guest accommodations and a parking lot. This is supposed to be a motel, right? I've seen them before in movies, but... This is my first time seeing one in person. <laughs> wow, what a rundown motel. It looks pretty unsanitary, too. It's just like Hajime's house. You've never seen my house. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you were there. You don't stand out at all, so I wouldn't notice you. Little shit. <laughs> anyway, this place is seriously run down. It's like the perfect home for minimum wage workers. That's a bit harsh, don't you think? But... We gotta make sure we check it out thoroughly. It's possible there might be a clue here. If you think so, then why don't you go inside and look around instead of standing around here doing nothing? Pew 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 pew, call down. Hey! You're probably too vulgar to get this, but there's a saying, praise a fool, or praise a fool and maybe you'll make him useful. Excuse me, what's that supposed to mean? Akane was checking out the inside. After I gave her a little praise, she got really excited about it. A dumbass like her is pretty rare, so we gotta make sure she's treated well. If her rotten attitude is this extreme, I really can't take it personally. Alright, we're gonna check out the car first. A rundown, rusted, and rotted car. Something abandoned. <laughs> Maybe it'll start up if I keep staring at it. It's a bunch of similar-looking private rooms. The insides probably look the same, too. It's dark and slightly dirty. I doubt there's that a room like this would have to be perfect for a crime. There's no doubt that a room like this would be perfect for a crime movie. If it's just to say the night, this cottage is good enough. Or the cottage is good enough. Is there really nothing to look at? I guess. I think we're going to save Titty Typhoon for next time, so I might just run around and level up our pet. So we're just going to have a little bit of a talking time for a bit. Man, today's been a really, really intense day. Like, oh wait, we got the hospital too. Uh, I kind of want to leave both of them for next because I feel like there's going to be a lot in them. Oh, Central Island. Have to wait next time for Titty Typhoon. Rip, right? But I feel like um, Titty Typhoon and the hospital are going to be... There's got to be something in them, right? Especially because the hospital, I'm pretty sure, is going to have uh, Fuyuhiko in it. Um, and I need to do some running around anyway, so it's fun to just talk to you guys for a bit. Um, this is a really interesting island, but I wasn't so... Thursday is so far away. I know, I know. It's okay. you got to keep in mind, I'm waiting just as much as you guys are. Like, don't, don't underestimate. I really want to keep playing this game, too. A lot. Like, I really enjoy it. So, if you ever want to relearn Taz, Winky Face, it's something I'm considering. I just wish the controls weren't so terrible. But you're in control of this, and we're not. You're not in control of the schedule, and you're not. You're not wrong. I, like, if I had a schedule of me streaming four hours every single day, y'all wouldn't show up every single day anyways. Let's be real here. Good for you. Good for you. The controls aren't terrible. I'm I'm pretty sure you're objectively wrong there. Most people consider Taz pretty terrible controls. But who knows? Um, if I do up it, I might be adding another four hours. But... It, so, for reference, the schedule that I'm looking at possibly changing it to will be um, two hours Tuesdays, two hours... Why can't we go to the Lucha Libre thing, right? Um, two hours more on Tuesdays, two hours more on Thursdays, and it would be starting two hours earlier. So, it would be four, four, and four. 
So that would be a total of 12 hours per week, which I think would be pretty fun. Um, especially because it lets me have something to feel like I'm actually working on. I uh, feel like I'm doing something a little more productive other than just studying, studying, studying. Look at my recent Zuni tunes run and tell me that the movement looked clunky. Okay, no, 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 no. Somebody who is fantastic at a game can make any bad movement system look good. That doesn't make the movement not inherently clunky. We're so close to leveling up Usami. I might just keep this going a little over because I really want to see what that level up of Usami is because it's like 200 per lap, which is like, I think, a minute. Um, so it's only like three more minutes. But um, I'm hoping between that and everything, and I've been doing some other stuff. I updated the YouTube stuff, has end cards. I finally got a lot more stuff uploaded on there. Assuming I don't get banned from YouTube, like apparently every, or get con uh, struck by YouTube like everybody else. Three more minutes isn't even running over, right? Um, but I also did some updates here. You guys already saw, there's new rewards. I'm gonna contact, um, I'm gonna put it in as a suggestion, see if I can find out if there is uh, lifetime points, because I would love to see lifetime points. Um, I, I think it's really, really important and really, really cool for me to see lifetime points too. Um, and then I banned a couple of bots from getting points because it didn't realize it on its own. So Stay Hydrated Bot no longer is in the top five of point owners. Go figure. Um, other than that, I mean, I have merch. I don't think anybody cares. If you like my logo, though, um, I do have it as merch. You can always get a, a Jovine pillow if that's what really floats your goat. Um, <laughs> wrecked. I mean, to be honest, I don't think any bots should be getting points whatsoever. So if I ever see one in the, in the list, I will always, always, always get rid of it. It looks weird without a face. It, a Jovine body pillow. No, it's just a normal couch pillow. Kind Laris, you perv. I I understand what you're saying, but honestly, it's. I tried it with a face, and I think it looks a lot weirder with a face. I I can I can try to get some of that um, made, so you can see what it looks like with the face too, so you have options. But I honestly think the merch looks so much better without a face than it does with a face. But, I, like, let me know. I, I don't, again, I'm not expecting anybody to want it. It's more of, like, I'd rather have it just in case at some point. Like, honestly, a Jovine mug, I think it'd be kind of cool. But if it's, if there's feedback, if there's something you guys specifically want, absolutely let me know. Because I... Like, at the end of the day, that's really what this stream's for. It's not just for me. It's hanging out, having fun with friends. And if some reason you guys want the symbol to be like, hey, hey, come come, come, join us for from the literature club. Come come have uh, some, some reading time. I'm more than happy to have that kind of stuff. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. If only that counted for steps. Oh, man. No, she has despair. Must get rid of despair. We're almost there. 170 more steps. You guys ready for this? Ready for whatever Usami leveling ups into? Or does she just go away after she's... I don't know. I don't know what happens. I, I have no clue what we're getting into. And that's why I'm so excited for it. I do think the little logo looks pretty good on the zip up though. I wish we had more control over where you could put stuff though. That's the one biggest problem with running um, stuff through... Uh, through their system is it's I get a lot less control than you'd think and honestly I have everything set to the minimum price you can make it like absolute minimum you're allowed to holy crap it feels so expensive Thirty-eight. sorry I was just like that seems like it should be done already 7 8 9 10 11 12 13. that face one won't go over to finish a class trial but pushes it to hatch a pet to be fair, had I pushed it over for the class trial, uh, from from everything I've done before, I I would I would definitely have gone like an hour over because we've done that before. Oh. Oh, Usami's leaving. Usami laid an egg and just left. 
It wants to give you something. Oh, thank you, Osami. Wait, what? She gave me menacing focus, mo mono 200 mono coins, and a century potpourri. I got a whole new, like, skill from that. Can I see the skills I have? If I click myself, do I see my own skills? Skills list, there we go. Menacing focus. Greatly increases the focus gauge. Effective during the class trial. Cannot be combined with extraordinary focus. Oh, so it's really not that exciting. Oh. Wow, that's a lot of max influence. Oh wait, I can almost level up. Is 1 XP 1 step? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. Yep. Random fact: one XP is one step. All right. Bye, bye, Yusami. You are a good friend. So we're gonna go ahead and save. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by. Uh, I had an absolute blast, like always. Um, I will see you guys Tuesday. It's been a fun one. Have a good one.